Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Unleashed with myself, Lewis. Hope you're all very, very well and have been doing your thing and having a good time. We are back and I am going ahead and making a third floor. Yes, I am, because there is a lot that I uh, I need to build and I cannot do it with just two floors. Nope, we're going to need three and we're probably going to need more than three as we progress but it's always, uh, you know, it's nice to do this. And the great thing with building in a tree which I've found is that we can go ahead, you know, and we get so much wood from it. Like so much. I don't ever really have to worry about wood unless I want to go ahead and, you know, get different types of wood which uh, uh, I'm not really that worried about because I am by no means, <laughs> by no means a good builder. But hey, maybe one day we'll learn how to be the best builder. But I don't see that day coming around very, very soon. Cool beans. Right, so we're going to build this. And then I want to build out a little bit. So I want to go out into the big bad world and we're going to build like a little balcony. Because the one thing that I seem to be having a lot of problems with is my power fist. It seems to be literally zapping the powers. And I like the idea of using the coal coke, but we're meant to be going green. And we all know that when you go burning coal or anything like that, you're putting out bad emissions. And that is uh, not cool. Hell no, that is not cool. It's not good for the environment and all those things. So we're gonna try and uh, we're gonna try and combat that with a nice bit of uh, the solar power. Sounds good to me. Well, I think that's a good idea. Now let's uh, carry on. Get all these guys out. This might take a minute or two, but it is fine. I can probably find something to talk about, and there is uh, yes, one thing that I wanted to go over, and that was the intro. So I mentioned it on the last hex episode. As far as intros go, I pretty much already have one that I've decided upon, uh, but I'm going to give it a day or two more, just so anyone else who's in the middle of creating something can, you know, throw it into the mix so I can check it out and see what, the, you know, see what I think about it. I don't want to go rushing it and just randomly picking one that I like. Well, I'm going to pick one I like, but I want, don't want to go rushing it in case you've made, like, you know, you're halfway through making something. And then I go picking it, and that's just, that sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. Because, yeah, that wouldn't be very cool. It's not a competition by any means, but, so, uh, you know, if you've been working hard on it, and then uh, I go and use that, like, hey, I would, uh, I would, that would suck for me. That would suck. <laughs> so, wait. Okay, right, so we're going to get rid of all these guys, build the solar majigamabob, which is sounding good. And, oh, I didn't want to go breaking you. Let's put you back. Yeah, where you belong. Bam, there we go. Oh, one thing you might notice now as well is that this is actually running on a server. Yes, it is. Just for, uh, well, a few reasons really. One, it makes it just a little bit easier for me to uh, go ahead and build all the stuff and keep it running so we don't have to worry about, you know, energies turning off and all those fangs. And if we're going to be going green, then we're going to need ourselves a good supply of energies. And if I can get this chunk loaded, then at least we're going to have a decent amount while I'm logged off, which is the plan, really. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. See, look at the power fist. Look how quickly it's going down when I'm mining this wood. It's almost gone. That's ridiculous. Literally ridiculous. I'm not going to have enough to put my lights down. Let's, uh, ooh, let's go build ourselves another X. Yeah, I think that's a plan. You can go in there for the time being until we get that little bit greener. Just a little tadam. So, let's go build us a... Hmm, I've got some more iron upstairs, haven't I? Yes, I have. Ooh, the iron. I love it. Cool. Let's get ourselves some sticks. And we'll go ahead and build one of you guys. And then that should be enough to finish this off. And then we're going to build out a little bit, like I say, into the uh, into the uh, big bad world. And we're going to try and make ourselves this nice little balcony. So I want to try and keep the balcony looking as close to authentic with the tree as I can. Or I want it to kind of match, you know. Because I've had a lot of people saying we need to go for the steampunk style of, of building. And I love that idea. Literally love that idea. I think it's the best idea because it's just gonna look so nice but the problem stands like I say that I'm not the best builder so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna try and do this to my uh, greatest of abilities and I've been thinking about it and you know I want to get some vines involved and things like that so we can try and keep it looking a little bit treeified if that is a word and we can then Add a bit of cobble and a bit of stone and things, and I, I do want some like wires poking out and all this, so it just it look gives it that cool steampunky feel to it. 
but I don't want it overdoing it because we found out in the last episode that by just having a few gold, uh, some gold um, tubes hanging out, it automatically looks a little bit rubbish. <laughs> yes, it does. That's stuck out like a sore thumb, which is not good. All right, we've got some of this. Got loads of wood. Now I should have enough to throw some lights in it. Ba bam, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam, and right there. Good times, get rid of you guys. There we go, good times. Right, so we've got another floor. Now I've, hmm, I don't really know which, which side I actually want this to come out of because it needs to look pretty funky for it to come out the right side. So let's go with, hmm, so this is the front. Oh my God, this is very much discombobulating. We can have it coming out this side. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. So we want it coming out this side. Which is you. Ooh, that's gonna be right in the way of the door. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's do it on the other side. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah, we'll do it on the other side. We'll do it along here. It'll be cool. It'll come out this way. Oh, but then it's gonna go over our little fields. Hmm. Ah, we can move them. We can move them. It'll be alright. It's still gonna look good. Yeah, it'll look fine. So I wanna make it out of I was thinking of using force planks, but then I was a little bit rare about it. So I don't know if like cobble is going to work properly. I think it's going to look a little bit weird. So uh, let's get rid of the cobble. And if we try and use the planks that we get from this, now we can use the redwood separately. That might work pretty well. So if we do this and get a load of redwood planks, and there goes my phone again. <laughs> I'm always forgetting to turn that guy off. Yeah, if we ever come out like this, just a little tandem. And then we're going to build outwards from here. So we don't want it to be too big because I'm not intending on having absolutely tons of solar panels. But I'm intending on having enough that it's going to look semi-decent. There we go. And uh, we'll throw... No. We'll do this. There we go. Cool. And, yep. Yeah, it's looking good. Doing its thing. Throw these along here up. And we'll have it come out a little bit more. Just a little tatum. Yeah, what's that? One, two, three, four, five. Or one, two, three, four, and five. And we'll just bring it along here and fill it in. And this will do, you know, just a little hangover for the time being, just to have a few soldery panels doing the thing until I decide that I want to make it that little bit bigger or we, uh, you know, change our solar panels around because there are different types of solar panels you can have. There actually is quite a few in this pack because we advance, we have advanced solars in, which is pretty nice. And as we don't have Greg Tech, it means that I can jump straight into it without the uh, issue of having to uh, worry about it kind of exploding on me. <laughs> which it always seems to happen with Greg Tech because everything just goes mental with Greg Tech. It always makes it that little bit more fun, but it makes it that little bit harder as well, which is always, well, really, that's the point in it, but... We're not going to be dealing with that in uh, this playthrough. We will be dealing with it soon, but not in this playthrough. So let's get ourselves some fences. And have we got any spare? Because we might have a few just lying around. Nope. But we got loads of sticks. Can I make fences out of these guys? Let's have a look. Because these are just kind of hanging around. Yeah, I can. Cool beans. Oh, we can actually make the fences. Oh, right. So they actually have their own look. Ah, that's pretty cool. Maybe we should use these. These will look pretty good. So we've got 20. Have we got any more of these sticks? We've got some in here. Let's make a few more. Actually, we'll do it this way because it'd just be a load easier then, wouldn't it? There we go. Ba -bam, ba -bam, ba -bam. That gives us 26 of these bad boys. And let's go throw them up. You know, got to think about safety first. The last thing we want is an accident. Ooh, I like it. That is cool. Are we going to have enough? I think we are. I think we're going to have just enough. Oh, we're a little bit short. Just a little bit short. That's all right. We can get around this. Bam. And my minium stone will come in and save the day. Yes, he will. Cool beans. Right, let's get these guys. Make a few more. And then we should be in good standing to uh, do the rest of this. Cool beans. Right, so there's that. And you can go there. Oh, there's a spider down there having a moment. <laughs> oh, is he eating my berries? You shouldn't be eating my berries. That is a bad move. Yeah, you don't want me coming down there getting all annoyed and stuff. That is a bad idea. Sweet, right. Should we throw some more lights around here? Let's throw them. Oh, I'm out of energy already. Am I out of energy? Oh, no, I've got it in the wrong mode. 
There we go. Brilliant. And we can have some actually coming under here. It's a little bit dark. I'm a bit worried that we're going to have mobs spawning. So let's throw some in the corners as well. Yeah, that looks cool. That looks cool. Love it. All right, so we've done this. Now we've got to think about the solar panels. And I do kind of want to make it look a little bit nicer as well because it looks a little bit odd at the minute. Yeah, I think it does look a little bit weird. Let's go down and have a sleep so we get rid of all the spidery dudes. Or at least make them a little bit happier that they can... Oh, damn. Oh, there we go. Having a little sleep. <laughs> Good times. So, at least these guys are going to become a little bit happier now, hopefully. If not, actually, they probably won't do because it's underneath a tree, isn't it? Oh, not today, Mr. Creeper. Not today. Whoa. Yeah, stay back. I do not want your kind around here. You just go making all sorts of trouble. <laughs> no. Ooh. Come on, two health. There we go. There we go. Good dance. Good dance. Ooh, that reminds me, my bees. Have they done their thing? They might have done their thing. Yes, they have. Oh, I didn't go I wanted. Damn. All right, you can carry on doing your thing for that a little bit longer. <laughs> Hopefully you're going to do uh, the right thing this time and not explode and go mental. Now, let's try and get this looking a little bit funkier so I'm gonna put some oh oh yeah you're gonna work you're gonna work oh, oh that's a bit close to look at his face there <laughs> okay right I want you there and you there come on you can do it Ooh, we're gonna go up a little bit there we go beautiful just makes it look that a little bit nicer I think adding these little kind of uh, backdrops to it. We're probably going to need some more sticks, but at least like we can kind of get it looking semi-professional. Let's try putting these down here and these guys here. Yeah, I like that. That looks a little bit nicer. And we'll put some more around there at some point as well. And maybe have some like stabilizers coming down. Just trying to make it look that little bit nicer, you know? Because uh, like I say, not the best, but I'm trying. I am trying. And I know some of you guys have probably done it a load better than me, but I'm giving it a go. Giving it a go. Let's see if we can do our shears and get us some vines. Yeah, because there's some of them lying around here. So let's take these guys, just give it that little extra look. Uh, come on, give me some vines. I got my shears on. Why are you not doing your thing? Are you meant to give me vines? Oh. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Let's uh. Let's try it a different way. Go get us, actually go make some vines. I think that's a cool idea. That Enderman is still chilling. <laughs> he is just waiting, waiting for all the things to happen. Uh, oh, I've got iron on me, haven't I? Yeah, I have, cool beans. Right, shears. Let's go have a look. I find it quite funny that in one of the last videos, someone put on there that he needs to work on his vanilla knowledge. I know. <laughs> Believe me, if you've been around on this channel long enough, you will know that I definitely need to work on my vanilla knowledge. Hell, we're, uh, <laughs> I've been doing modded Minecraft since day one. And as far as uh, my, my uh, vanilla knowledge goes, it's pretty much non-existent. I've, uh, <laughs> I must say my redstone and all that sort of stuff is pretty much non-existent. I do try, and we're gonna have to give it more of a go in this, purely because we don't have red power, but we do have red net, which we're gonna dip into at some point, which I think would look pretty funky. So let's go up here and throw some of these guys on here. Oh, just giving it that little extra funkiness. Yeah, we'll throw one there. And should we throw a few more on the other side? I think that's a good idea. I just I don't want to overwhelm it with funkiness, but I just want to put down an, enough funkiness to make it funky. <laughs> there we go. You guys can go there. Cool beans. And let's uh, throw. Yeah, we'll throw a few more on this side. Just a couple. Just a couple. We got two more. Um, I think I'll probably, I'll finish the rest of this up on camera, but enough to kind of give it a little bit of a look. Yeah, make it look a little bit more au naturel. Yeah, it goes with the feng shui of the place, you know, you've got to keep your feng shui. Cool beans. All right, so now we can actually get involved with uh, some of the actual uh, solar panel goodness, which is, uh, that is my uh, stronger point. <laughs> so we're going to need to get some coal 
and we're gonna need to go ahead and turn this into coal dust firstly so let's do that you can go in there we don't need too much actually we you know what? we'll just do the rest of it yeah why not cool beans we need some glass which we have we need some circuits which we're gonna need some more of so let's go downstairs and have a gander and my phone is going mental you are going on silent <laughs> All right, let's take some of this stuff. We'll grab some of the iron. We've actually only got one force ingot, so yeah, let's use the rest of this iron with the force. Use the force. Yes, we are. Oh, I think we need to double iron it. Yep, there we go. Give us a load of these guys. We're going to need some redstone, but I'm going to get rid of some of these blocks first because we have absolutely shed loads of these guys. You can go in there. You can go in there. You can go in there. And these can go back up here. There we go. Hmm, why didn't it pick up my drone? Oh, it's because I didn't drop it, that's why. There we go, that's better. And you guys can go in there as well, cool beans. All right, so I need some redstone. Gonna need some glass, got that, done. We're gonna need some wiring, and I don't think I have tons of wiring on me. Hmm, no, we don't. I'm gonna put this on charge for two seconds while we, uh, while we sort this guy out. So let's grab some. Uh, we'll get a little bit of wood out, and we're going to make ourselves a few more tree taps. Yes, we are. There we go. We'll make a couple more, and that should give us enough stuff to do this. I'm pretty sure I have some more rubber upstairs as well in one of these boxes. Yeah, we've got 30, 30, oh, we've actually got 34 already and 5 in there. We might, we might already have enough to, uh, you know, make a few of these guys. Have we got enough copper? Yeah, we got quite a bit of copper as well. All right, so I think we're gonna be okay. Let's do this. There we go. We'll make uh, a load of these guys. And some rubber. There we go, looking good. Cool beans. So we wanna make some solar panels. We're gonna go with the regular ones that power one EU per tick. So we need glass, we need these guys, we need some generators, which means we're gonna need a couple of batteries as well. So let's make some batteries. So we're gonna need some tin, we're gonna need some redstone, done. And we're gonna need a few other things. There we've got you guys. Cool. Yep, looking good. All right, so. Uh, we need to make some batteries. So let's have a look at these guys, because I've literally gone blank on the recipe. Yeah, tin, redstone, and a wire. That was the one. So, let's throw this guy down. So we'll throw two of these in here. We'll make two. Yeah, that sounds good to me. And, hmm, should we make three? No, we'll make two. We'll make two for the time being. I think that's a plan. Let's get back onto our solar panels. And look at all the other gizmos that we need. So we'll grab you. We're going to need ourselves a generator, which is some refined iron and a iron furnace. So this is going to cost quite a bit of iron, so how much have we actually got? We've got one bit in there. I'm pretty sure I have almost a full stack just sat around upstairs in here. Yeah, there we go. Cool beans. So we'll make uh, two of you guys. There we go. A lovely jablé. And have we got any refined iron? I think I might have a little bit downstairs that we made previously. Hmm refined iron oh there you are got ya yeah cool beans right so refined iron and these let's do this so we need you we need our refined iron we'll throw you across the top like that and some batteries giving us some generators so wait hmm i actually think we're gonna do pretty good with this i think it's gonna be fairly easy so we'll grab you we'll grab our coal dust we need some glass which i'm pretty sure we have downstairs in one of our other boxes yes we do Cool beans! Alright, so there is that. Now we just need some circuits, which we have most of the things to be doing. Let's see how many we can make. So we can make four. That will do the job. Yep, that will. Cool beans. Alright, so there's that. And ba -ba -ba -ba, we got ourselves two solar panels. So once again, I'll probably make the rest of them off camera so we get, you know, not spending too much time doing things. But we've got enough to do what we want to do. Now. How am I going to wire this guy up? I want it to come through here. Now, what is below us? Yeah, let's have a look. So below us here is these guys. So that's not... Ah, that's not too bad, is it? We can build it coming in here. And then it can go up into there. And we can have some sort of power unit around there. Somewhere. 
Mm, yeah, we'll do it that way. Have we got tin? Yes, we have. So for the cables of these guys, I'm going to go with ultra uh, low current cables. Purely for the reason that using anything else is pretty much pointless with stuff that puts out one EU per tick. These guys can handle up to... They can handle up to five, which is quite nice. So five of you particularly pretty good. So things like windmills, uh, solar panels, all those good things, you know, the uh, the, uh, the ones that you pop in the water. Those guys, they all put out such a minimal amount that it really makes no difference. But the good thing with these, which some people get mistaken with when it comes to using copper cables, is these guys uh, actually only lose one EU for every 40 blocks travelled. Whereas the uh, copper ones, I believe it's one for every five. And when you have one solar panel putting at one EU per tick, and then so, well, if we had two out there and we travelled more than ten blocks, that's game over. We're making no power. Silly. Absolutely silly. So if we use these guys, then we're not going to lose any power at all, which is going to be brilliant. Well, we use such a, we'll lose a minimal amount, literally a naught point amount, but yeah. Sweet. Right, so we want these guys out here, so let's throw them down. Now I'm going to put the first one here and the second one here. And we're going to put down our cables first. So we'll put you there. And we'll put you there. And these guys on top. There we go. Lovely jabla. And they're not going to be doing anything at the minute because it's night time. But they soon will be. Hopefully. Now let's go and wire these guys up. We're going to need to go outside for this. We'll take our cables. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited about this. We should actually finally be able to get some renewable energy on the go so we don't have to keep using all our uh, coal coke up because that can be used for another time. Oh, this guy's still chilling out down here. <laughs> he needs better things to do. He must be bored. All right, can I reach this? Oh, oh, no, we cannot. Okay, right. you're going to have to go, I'm afraid. Cool beans. So we'll have you going through here. Uh... A little bit further out. Okay, right. That'll do. That'll do, pig. <laughs> That'll do. Nice. Okay, right. Let's go in. We'll have a sleep, as always. It's getting a bit dark. And I think then what we'll do... Oh my god, there are monsters nearby. There are too many monsters nearby. Who is it? I bet it's this guy. Bet it's this guy. Yeah, it is. Come on. You need to go home. This is a bad place to be chilling. Ooh, I think I've gone done it. <laughs> Ooh, where is he gone? Where is he gone? I really want his endery goodness. Ooh, I can smell him. I can I can taste him. Ooh. Where is he? Is he in my house? He can't be in my house. It's not big enough. Huh. Oh, he is. Yeah, cause it's, oh, it's pretty high, isn't it? Yeah, we gone done it. All right, one more hit, and this guy is done. Ooh. Ha! <laughs> Got ya. Oh, he didn't give me any. Of his, he didn't give me any of his pearly goodness. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Okay, right. Let's have a sleep. Then we will get back to the task at hand, and we're gonna make ourselves some of these guys as soon as I have, uh, you know. Popped on a tune. Ooh, once I've got rid of some of my wood, we are getting stocked up. Cool beans. Right, let's grab you. And we're going to throw you in there. Yes, we are. Okay. Alright, so we got stuff coming through. Now, we need a place for this energy to go. So I think if we get it tunneling into here, which would be a fairly good bet. And then this guy can come out here and go. Oh, that light's going to be in the way a little bit. That's all right, we can move it. Okay, right, there's that. Let's go get some more wood. Let's take some of uh, this stuff. Hey, yeah, yeah. Actually, no, we want the regular one, don't we? We don't want the blank. We want the regular red wood. Yeah, yeah. And this can get wired into here. Yep, there we go. Looking a little bit nicer now. We've got a place for our powers to go. Solar panels. Still not doing the thing. I might have to. I might have to do a few things. Ooh. 
So the server is restarting, guys. I'll be back in a few. All right, we're back in business. Looking good. Oh, yeah. So let's get something to put all this power in. You know, we're making power. We've got to put it somewhere. So we're going to make ourselves a bat box, which is, you know, always a good place to start. And we're going to need a few batteries and things to do this. So let's have a gander at what we need. So we need three batteries and we need a copper cable. So I believe we have enough tin to do this. Yeah, we do. We have enough redstone to do this. And we have enough copper cables to do this. So we're looking pretty good. So let's go grab a few of these guys. Uh, we'll just do it this way. It's easier. Yeah, there we go. One, two, and three. And the same on this side. A little bit of redstone. Oh, yeah. And some cables. Cool beans. Alrighty. So we've got you. We have an additional cable. And we have some planks. Now, is this going to work with this guy? That is a good idea. Let's have a gander. See if it works. Yeah, it does. Good stuff. One bat box. I'm loving it. Now, we also need some b -b -b bronze. And we're going to make you into a... Oh, are we a little bit short? Ah, there we go. Got a wrench. Good times. So that way, if we need to move stuff, we can go ahead and do that without breaking. Good times. So, I want the output for this guy to be here. And trying to do that is going to be a little bit tricky, but we can do it. Whoop, there we go. Good times. So the thing with bat boxes, which you should already know, is there's only one output. Everything else is a input. So if you go running it into the output, then you're a silly person because it is going to do nothing. Now, we need power to go into this guy. So we can put out 32 you per tick, but at the minute we're not getting any power from these guys. Which is telling me one thing, and it's the one thing that I was a little bit worried about. And it's the fact that I think this tree, <laughs> I have a feeling this tree is in the way of these solar panels. So I might need to go ahead and sort that out first. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to do that. Okay, right. Give me two secs and I'll be right back once I've sorted these guys out. Alright, we're looking pretty good now. You have no idea how horrible that was to <laughs> go and tower my way all up there just to get rid of those. You can see the little holes there, but we've done it. We've gone and done it. And now these guys are working perfectly fine. Oh yeah. you got to remember, like that, they do need a bit of headroom to do their thing. Anything over the top and you're going to have no luck. So you can see they're working. We've got the little, uh, they've got the little sun glowing, which looks pretty funky. And you can see that we're getting some energy. Good time. So we're getting a bit of power in here, which really isn't much, really, in the big scheme of things at all. But it gives us enough just to give it like a quick zap of power in there in case we need it. And obviously it's, it's free energy, so there's nothing wrong with free energy. And this sort of stuff can always be expanded, which is always nice. Bear in mind of all the solar panels as well, there are so many different ones that you can actually use. You just have to bear in mind your wiring and your uh, output amount, so... For instance, solar panels, these guys we have here, we can always put up to low voltage solar arrays, which is eight of the solar panels and an LV transformer, which gives you the power of those guys all in one. So it obviously uh, compacts it then as it is a compact solar, but you get the additional benefit of all the uh, extra EU, which is pretty nice. Yeah, it is. Cool. Right, so we've done that. We're getting a little bit of power in. We've made the extra floor. I'm pretty happy about that. And everything seems to be going pretty swimmingly. And that seems to be all right. Let's go check it from the outside just to make sure it's looking, you know, all right. It's getting dark again already. Yeah, it's looking all right. Looking good. Needs a little bit of work. Maybe it needs some more of those things around the edges. I think it would look better if we had more of the uh, more of the fences going around the sides. And maybe some, like, tower blocks coming down. But except for that, it looks all right. Yeah, it just needs some uh, stabilizers because I don't think you'd normally have it sticking out like that. <laughs> It'd probably fall over and uh, explode, which is not very good. Now, let us finish up by firstly having a little sleep <laughs> and then we will go ahead and uh, be right back and we're going to go and quickly throw down another beehive because I really want to get cracking with the bees and we're not really getting too far of it just yet. I'm pretty sure somewhere around here I had another one of these guys and I can't remember for the life of me where I went and put it. Hmm, where have you gone? Aha, there you are, one impregnated casing. Oh yes! So I want to make another uh, apiary, just so we have a couple on the go. Just speed it up then. Bear in mind we're on a server now, so it means that they're going to work a little bit faster once I get some uh, chunk loaders down and doing the thing. So we need you guys, and we need some of you guys, and we'll make one of these. So we'll throw you across the top. 
and some wooden planks, and bam, one apiary. Good dance. Now we need to decide what bees we're gonna use, and whether I wanna put any frames in there, because really at the minute I just wanna go ahead and try and get some uh, new bees, which is kind of the first thing. And maybe we already have some. Do we got some? Hey, we got some common. Good dance. Good dams indeed. Oh, we got some, four honeycombs. Love it. Okay, right, we're gonna make another place to put this hive. We'll throw it here, and hopefully they're gonna have enough flowers around to do the thing. Yeah, it looks like they're all right. They're looking good to me. Cool, so we got a common princess. So what should we do with a common princess? Well, let's have a look inside our apiarist backpack. And we've got a fairly decent amount of bees. So we've got wintry, we've got meadows, we've got rocky drones, and all these guys. Uh, we've already got some common ones from the... Uh, from the breeder which was pretty funky so i think what i'm gonna go ahead and do is get some more common ones because it's always nice to get a little backlash of common drones and common princesses uh, just as a basis because these are kind of your uh, basis for breeding yeah and we're gonna mix a common with a meadows yeah we'll do that but man but man and hopefully that's gonna uh, work out fairly nicely those should go bang straight back into my apris backpack yes they do Cool, and these guys are all doing their thing. They look pretty good to me, pretty happy bees. You know, it's all about making sure your bees are nice and happy and then they're gonna make all the good things for you. And I'm just gonna grab all of these guys as well. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ooh, do you wanna go doing that? Let's uh, just do it with this. <laughs> there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Good times, good times indeed. Got ourselves loads of cotton, good stuff. Alright guys, so we're going to leave this episode here. We've got a little bit of free power on the go, so I'm feeling, you know, I'm feeling pretty happy about that. And uh, it definitely means that we can get... I actually, for a second then, thought that was a creeper. <laughs> that that seriously threw me for a second then. Whoo, that, uh, that was a worrying moment. <laughs> Luckily it wasn't. But yes, we've got ourselves some free energy, which is nice. Uh, we're using the uh, ultra low cut the cables to come under here, which is very cheap. Just three bits of tin to do the thing. And we're pretty much losing zero energy output. You can see here that it's starting to fill up quite nicely. And we can just go and throw that in there. Get a free, you know, a little uh, jump of energy inside our power fist. And soon we'll upgrade these guys so we get a more, uh, you know, more EU per tick coming in. And then we can upgrade our wires. We can upgrade our back box to uh, like an MFE. And then things are going to be working very swimmingly. We do need to start thinking, though, about some Buildcraft renewable power. And like I said before, we're going to be going down the green route. So I'm thinking we're probably going to look at a peat farm. Because that's quite early game. And it's uh, very renewable. And you get quite a good amount of stuff from it. So if we make those, then we can use peat fired engines and... That will just kind of get things moving a little bit faster. Uh, as far as rotations and automation go, we are going to have to... It's probably going to be slowed down a little bit. Purely because we haven't got red power in. But we have got some new... Uh, we have got some new uh, pipe types now that we can use. So maybe we can adventure into those and see all the loveliness that these guys have to offer. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'll see you soon for another episode. Have a good one. And goodbye.